It is one of the deadliest forms of cancer and one of the most preventable. Every year, thousands of people die from colon cancer after neglecting to receive recommended screenings. SNN Local News 6 reporter Jessica Jordan spoke to a local physician to get more information on why doctors really urge patients to get colonoscopies. Yeah, we did speak to both doctors and patients, and fear is often what keeps many people from getting the procedure. But doctors do stress the consequences of not getting screened are severe. Just last year, the American Cancer Society reported 10,000 cases of colon cancer. 3,000 of those patients died. For Leanne Hall, nothing seems scarier than getting a colonoscopy screening. I waited a couple years because I just figured, uh, why do it? But then I decided, you know, yeah, I need to do it. It's a good precaution. A precaution screening that has proved to be life-saving for many patients. Doctors recommend getting a colonoscopy when you turn 50, unless you're African American. Then they say get one at age 45. You never know if you have a polyp or anything in there. And you get the screening. I mean, I was free and clear. I mean, I don't have to have another one for 10 years. The American Cancer Society says colon cancer is the second deadliest form of cancer in the U.S. and one of the most preventable. More than 90 percent of patients could have been cured if their cancer was caught in the early stages. 75 percent of people that we see with colon cancer, they have no risk factor, meaning that you're 50 year old and you come to our center, uh, you can have colon cancer and no symptoms until it's too late. Doctors agree anxiety over the 25 minute procedure prevents many people from coming in for a screening. But they say it's painless and the result could mean the difference between life and death. If you have colon polyps, we can remove these polyps and prevent colon cancer in, in the long run. And to get more information on colon cancer, you can log on to the American Cancer Society's website or go to stopcoloncancer.com. And on that website, you can find lists of local physicians in your area and more information on what a colonoscopy procedure does involve. And Jessica, you know, I know that they are really recommending that patients get these colonoscopy, colonoscopies. But aside from that, are there symptoms that people can just be on the lookout for? There are symptoms, and those include weight loss and also abdominal pain. But the problem with that is doctors say once you do have those symptoms, it's often too late, and you do have those cancerous polyps. And oftentimes when you already have the symptoms, you already do have the cancer, and it's harder to cure that. So they do say early detection is really key in preventing this. All right, and that, of course, goes right back to get that colonoscopy. All right, thanks, Jessica.